Hey guys, we're back again with PowerShell. This is a good one too, uh, because I got this assignment just this morning and I was able to turn it around very quickly. This is the kind of thing that we like to do with PowerShell, right? So, uh, one of the NT guys was poking around and noticed that uh, he found a box that where SQL was installed on C and our company policy is D. You know, we don't want to have anything installed on the C drive that should only be for the OS. Um, so uh, he asked me, can you give me a list of all the boxes that have SQL installed on C? And I thought about it for a second and I said, well, yes, I can. Uh, it, was, it was actually pretty easy. Uh, again, all we've got to do is, uh, um, all we've got to do is, is get the information first and then we can easily alter it to, to do it on all the boxes. So let's go ahead and get that first, right? Notice how here I am at the, uh, at the server level, not at the, not at the uh, instance level. Uh, so if I were at the instance level, which is where it comes up with when you, when you uh, start up, just do a cd dot dot to get up to the server level here and you'll be fine. Now, let's go ahead and say a equals directory and I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for but let's do a GM on that oh and I found it right away root directory I bet that's it and you notice again here how it's just how it just says get right so that that means that you can't you can't alter it if it had get and set if it had set and get then you could uh, then you could do both of them but as it turns out here like uh, user data here it has a get and a set right uh, so does uh, tape load wait time so you can these are things that you can change but anything that just says get you you can't alter from here uh, and it makes sense if that's the SQL install directory you can't really alter that right I mean you you got big problems so uh, da -da -da -da, let's say a dot root directory there we go C program files uh, Microsoft SQL Server blah 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 MS SQL and there you go it's really that easy just to get the root directory now if we want to turn that into an actual uh, into an actual f uh, collection for a bunch of uh, for all of our boxes let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick so okay let's go take a look at this Okay, so we're back in uh, PowerShell Studio, <clears throat> and same thing. This time, I am going to do multiple uh, multiple servers. And again, you can fill A any way you want. I'm going to use a, a list here. Uh, my lab box is over here, so I've got uh, uh, A for each one of those. I'm going to switch it to uh, the directory. Uh, I'm going to switch it to uh, uh, this directory right here which is the the server level right because I'm stopping right here at server actually what I need to do is say server equals there we go let's start there and then a equals directory again just like we did on the other page right let's see if we can go up some there we go so a equals directory so we started here then we went a equals directory and then we ended up on a uh, dot root directory a dot root directory and that should get us what we want actually I got this server wrong real quick hold on there we go there we go okay now let's try it let's see let's go over here and let's run this guy right here okay all right, so the the box I'm on right now doesn't have rights to my domain, so let's go ahead and kill those other boxes, and we'll just do it against the local host because I can't I can't really get to these guys very well. Let's do a clear screen on that. Let's go up, and there you go. So I could do a lot of things here, right? Um, uh, I've got uh, uh, server right here. Um, and I could put all of that in a string because it doesn't do much good if you uh, 
<clears throat> it doesn't do much good if you just get the directory and don't tell what server it's on. But watch what I get when I do this. When I put this inside of there. Let's clear the screen again. There we go. So this out here, I get the server dot root directory. Okay, I actually get dot root directory. So we can't really have that now, can we? So what we need to do here is do that. Come on, get over there. There we go. And put that in parentheses with what we call a temporary variable. And now when I run it, I get my actual uh, I get my actual name here but let me see something here oh yeah I just noticed we're not getting the server name like we're supposed to because remember we wanted server name colon uh, root directory so that we can tell what server we're what, what server is out of is out of spec right and the problem is right here I need a space between the server and the colon because it thinks the colon is part of the uh, the variable name so now let's do that now I'm getting localhost right let's do a clear screen so you can see that easier <laughs> there we go so now I'm getting localhost colon and then C colon boxer so now you can you can take that now you can take that and put it in a file as it is right and just hand it off to your NT guys and say here they love text files uh, if you're gonna do something constructive with it for yourself then you can uh, write the information to a database in which case you won't do this you would make these two separate columns so you could search on them easier right or maybe you would parse it out parse out the different parts of the of the string but all the same uh, that's really all it takes to find out the root directory that SQL's installed on on all your boxes look at that it's uh, seven lines of code right and one of those is blank and one of those is just a parentheses or, I mean it's just a bracket and you know, one of them just defines the server list. You know, there's really not much actual work being done here. Talk to you later.